Hey y'all, this is your girl Martha, Be Crafty by Martha. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me or hit the follow button if you're watching on Facebook, okay y'all? So, I'm doing a simple Sunday craft, okay? I'm behind two Sundays, I'm aware of this. So I have this little candle holder that I picked up the Dollar Tree, y'all. This has been in my stash for quite some time, okay y'all? And then I have the little gnome that I picked up that's been in my stash for quite some time. It actually has a little chip on it, but I want it to go, it's so cute, and I want to do a whimsical springtime, you know, tear tray coffee bar thing. So, my idea is, now, you're going to get a kick out of this, this is how I know if y'all watched it. Josh is like, you're going to need a lot of glue for this, and he referred to this as a potty for the gnome, okay? A potty. But anyways, or toilet, whatever. But anyways, this might make you look at this differently, but we are not going to use it that way. When I turned it over and showed him, he was like, oh, that's what we're doing. So, I am using hot glue because I am doing it inside. But if you are going to be doing this outside, please use Loctite, super glue, any of the above. Because, well, if you're in Alabama like I am, with the heat, you and I both know this ain't going to last long with the, with the glue, okay? So, we are just going to put some glue on here, and I'm just going to put it on. I'm just going to make sure, and you can add moss to this. Um, you can add moss to this, spray paint this. You can even repaint this uh, whole gnome if you want to, or is he a gnome? I'm not sure. I would say he's a gnome. He has a beard and stuff. But I'm just going to hold it down real fast. And voila, y'all. You have you a cute little garden stand up, okay? So, and I'm sorry, y'all, my head's kind of cut off. We had to use Josh's phone. We had all kinds of issues, y'all, but we're getting there. Like, I'm making this happen. I can, I always tell y'all to use what you got, and that's what we're doing. So, I just need y'all to be patient with me, okay? Like, not everybody starts out with all the good stuff. So, I'm using what I got and showing y'all my, my creativity because that's what you're here for anyways, okay? And I cannot thank y'all enough for that. So, I hope you try this and I hope you can put it in your garden and enjoy it. And it just kind of gives this a little upscale. Like, literally, you don't even realize this is from Dollar Tree. When you look at this, it don't look Dollar Tree to me. It looks like, I mean, you can even make this look all cement, and spray paint it gray. That would be if that's something that's like you really wanted to do. I'm sorry for saying like a lot. For some reason, I guess because it's late, I'm having one of those tired moments. But that would look really good as well. So let me know what how you're going to use this because some of y'all probably have this in your stash. And let me know what kind of figuring you're going to put on there and add to your garden or on your tear tray like I am. I'm going to make a little whimsical tear tray thing for spring. And I cannot wait, y'all. I'm so excited. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed this simple Sunday craft. I did more talking than I crafted, okay? Like, let's just be real about this. Where one of the uh, the the uh, police patrol come up in here calling me out on that, okay, y'all? But anyways, I love y'all. This is your girl, Martha B. Crafty. And I hope y'all have a great week. And I hope to be able to be live with y'all soon. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.